Hello everyone, this is Professor Guns. Um, I'm recording this video to show you how you need to access your exams uh, via using HonorLock. And so uh, we will actually have all of these exams um, able to be accessed through Blackboard, um, but I want to show you this procedure so that you know what to do. One of the things that I recommend that you do is that you um, do a practice exam. And since I've made practice exams for your exams anyway, um, I also have your practice exams um, in Honorlock. So that way you can kind of go through that process um, and practice. All right. So the first thing that you want to do is once you're in um, your course, and of course I'm recording this for Math 200, uh, which is cal Calculus 1, but this will apply to any course uh, that I'm teaching that uses my math lab and Blackboard. So you would want to go into the course and your exams will be located in the learning modules area. And so uh, how this would normally go is, of course, uh, in this particular course, we have our first test in week four. So you would go to learning modules and then go to the uh, week four activities and assignments. And then from here, uh, you would go to module activities and assignments. And so as you can see here, there is an honor lock um, link here and you will want to click on that. Okay. So to show you how this is going to look, I'm going to switch to student mode right now so that you'll see um, exactly how it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and go back here and go here, go here again. And so what you will do is click on honor lock. Now, right now you see that there is a practice exam up um, for test number one uh, for this course. Note that on the day that you are scheduled to take your exam, um, you will have uh, approximately a 12 to 13 hour time window. And this won't show up in honor lock until you see it. But I do have it to where your practice exam is currently showing. Okay, so what you will do is click launch. And then from here is going to take you through the whole process of um, authenticating yourself and, and checking your surroundings and all that good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and come down here and click launch proctoring. And so as you can see, uh, the first thing that uh, they want to do is have you take your picture. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And then the next thing is, um, they're going to scan for your ID. Now, um, I do want to let you know that you do actually have to show an ID. OK, um, you can't kind of fake the system out by just putting your hand up or anything like that, because it's not going to work. And I'm going to demonstrate that to you. So uh, I'm going to say here I have my ID and I'm going to put this ID here, which is the back of the actual one that I have. I'm going to click on that and you'll see that it won't accept it. OK, and so that's because it's actually looking for certain things uh, which are ID. So um, here um, you put the actual ID in place. Um, it will actually work. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and put my ID there right quick and you'll see that it actually works here. So uh, we'll do that. Take picture. And you'll see that it actually works at that point. OK. All right. And so, of course, that was a school ID from the you know, school I'm at. So. Uh, anyway, so next is the uh, room scan. And so uh, we'll just go ahead and click on that. And once it does a countdown, you want to uh, show all the area in your room. OK, so I'm just going to move it around a bit um, to do that. Of course, you need to actually do that so that when I go review the video, I can see that there's nothing around you. Um, that will possibly aid you on the test um, other than your, your your calculator that you're going to have, your pencils, um, and blank scratch paper, okay? All right, and so this will actually go over everything just to see, um, you know, if everything's to your liking, go ahead and submit yes. And then after that, um, you're going to be sharing your screen with Unlock as well. So here you'll, you'll come and you'll click on this. 
And then at that point, um, your screen would be shared by Unlock. And so now at this point, you're ready to access your exam. Okay. Now, um, I do want to scroll down here and make sure that you know that um, these are instructions from me um, as far as uh, the things that I don't like will be looking for uh, whenever the exam goes on. If any, any one of these things um, happens or let's say uh, if your restroom breaks are too long because um, you're allowed to have uh, two, um, basically one every hour, um, no longer than five minutes for each one. Um, you're allowed to have that. Anything that is more than that or more frequent than that, um, that's going to you know, bring up a, a red flag. Okay. Um, also, another thing I want to go ahead and bring to your attention is that uh, you, I know a lot of us, um, we're taking these online classes, we're at home, we're kind of comfortable uh, clothing wise, but um, let's wear something that was appropriate as if we were, you know, out in public or if we were in class. So, um, you know, don't need to see in your pajamas. <laughs> uh, I mean, unless, you know, of course your pajamas might really cover you, but uh, we just want to make sure that, you know, everyone's properly covered. That's all. All right, so with that being said, then we will go ahead and actually access the exam. So at this point, um, you'll come back here and you will uh, click on, let's say, the practice test. And then here, um, to be able to get your password, you're going to come here, click on, oh, sorry, I clicked on the wrong thing here. Yep, sorry about that. I had to pause the video to, to find this. So um, once you're here, the same little area here that you use to take your pictures and all of that, um, you see that you also have the place where we need to insert the password. Okay. So uh, this window may be lurking behind your actual window that you have everything in. So just make sure that um, you locate it. And then, of course, um, you can go back here and you see how it went away again. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's what I'm saying is you have to go or pull it out and find it. So I'm going to do that again, and then um, I'll show you how to get the password in there. All right, so now that I got this thing straight here, you're here. And then, of course, you can do insert password, and they'll go ahead and put it in there. And then um, after that, then, of course, now you see that um, Unlock is recording you. It's also um, recording and sharing your screen. And so at this point, um, you just go ahead and begin, you know, the exam. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and minimize this for now. And you click submit and start the test. And then at that point, you'll just take it as normal. Okay. So um, here, I'll go ahead and you know, answer this particular question here. Um, don't care if I get it right or not. Um, and let's say that's the only one I answer. And I'll come and I'll say submit test, submit. And then here, since it is your practice exam, you will be able to review your test or go to results. Um, I'll just click on review test here. Now you'll be able to do that. Um, if you want to um, view your results, then um, here you can go here as well. So the main thing is that at this point, um, you're done. But again, you're going to need to uh, stop sharing here in Unlock, and you probably haven't seen this, but there's this little icon that's here that will be at the bottom of your screen um, that will say, hey, we need to stop sharing. So you can go ahead and do that once the exam is over. And then, of course, you see how this pops back in. And um, at that point, your exam will be finished, and all you have to do is exit Unlock. So you come here, exit, and you can kind of see how now um, your process is done, okay? Now, for those of you who, um, for whatever reason, you can't keep um, the Honor Lock plugin thing um, in, in your Google Chrome browser, um, you saw the window that popped up. You can kind of re uh, rewind back this video. You saw the window to pop up to say uh, to uninstall. Okay, so if you need to do that, that would be a great time to do. Okay, um, another thing that I didn't mention but is important is that the very first time um, you go into Unlock, 
um, you're going to have to actually download this add-in. Okay, so um, I'll try to recreate what that looks like here, but I may not be able to. All right, so when you get into Honor Lock initially, um, if this is your first time, I'm going to see if I can recreate what this looks like. So you'll come here and you'll see that it's checking your system and it'll be like, hey, um, you don't have this, so you need to install it. So you'll come here, say agree, get started. And then you'll see that um, you want to add this to Chrome, add the extension. And then, of course, it's been added. Okay. So uh, at this point, um, what you will see is that, um, of course, it's installed. Some of you may have other proctoring um, add ins installed. And of course, there's only one that's going to work at the same time here. So uh, to do that, you can click on this little icon here and go to manage extensions. Um, as you can see, I have uh, multiple here. So let's say for instance, um, if I have Proctorio on, that means Unlock would have to be off. So only one of these can be on at a time. So um, in order for Unlock to work, you have to come here, click this off, click this on, and then um, everything will work like how it did um, earlier in the video. Okay, so just wanted to make sure that you were aware of that. So, of course, that's done. That's done. Um, now everything's fine. And now you see that it gets to your um, exams that pop up. And again, these exams uh, will be showing per the dates. So for, let's say, your first exam, um, you're going to have um, a specific date that is going to show up. And that will be the only day that it will show up. Okay, so I just want to make sure that you are aware of that. All right, so this is the process to um, take your test um, in this course. Um, again, I'll go ahead and reiterate, um, you will have access to a, a scientific calculator uh, with Honorlock. Um, you're still allowed to use um, your graphing calculators, but you really don't need them. Um, scientific calculator is is all that you really need for these exams. Um, if you're overusing your graphing calculator, you're probably doing too much. Um, so don't overuse your graphing calculator. <laughs> okay. Um, other than that, uh, just make sure, of course, wear you know appropriate clothing. You know, as if you were in public or whatnot. Um, also, make sure that um, any scratch paper that you have um, is is blank. Um, I need from you, once you're done with your test, um, your written work. And I want to specify there's a difference in between written work and scratch work. Okay, Your written work will be nice, neat, numbered, and in order. So that means, you know, uh, question one comes first, question two comes second, question three comes third, and I need to have it in that order. Okay, um, If you do not number it, um, if I can't understand where a problem begins or where it ends, um, if there's anything about your paper that I cannot understand, um, just know that I'm not going to ask you, hey, what does this mean? Um, what I'll do is that if I can't make it out, I'll just you know, skip the question. And that means that when I'm going over to look uh, over your My Math Lab test to award you back partial credit, you won't get any partial credit awarded for those problems. And of course, that could become an issue if you actually got the problem wrong, but I have to be able to read um, what it is that I'm looking at in order to, for me to assess whether um, I can give you back some partial credit or not. Okay, so uh, help yourself by helping me be able to um, read what it is that you're writing. Everything again needs to be nice, neat, and in order. Now, your scratch work is work that you just kind of do on the side that, yeah, you understand it, but if someone else looked at it, they would have no clue of what's going on. Um, I do want you to include that as well, but I want that in the last pages, okay? So, um, so in other words, put your uh, written work that's nice and neat uh, first, and then the, the last pages of your submission uh, will be that scratch work. And um, if you submit that to me, um, of course, your written work, you have to submit to me. But if you choose to also uh, submit your scratch work as well, 
Um, what I do sometimes is, is that if I can't fully understand what's going on with a problem that you've written out, or maybe there are some steps missing, I'll look to see if there's anything in your scratch work that you have that maybe you had in your scratch work that's correct, but not necessarily um, when you carried it over to your actual written work. Um, if I can find that connection, um, I, I will kind of say, OK, well, you meant to write this and, you know, I'll award you partial credit accordingly. OK, um, so in other words, the more work you give me, the, the more stuff I can actually use to read, uh, more than likely, uh, the more chances that you have to get more partial credit awarded back. Um, uh, as far as my math lab test, I do also um, credit back, let's say if you had a typo or something like that in there um, in your answer, but you got it right on your written work. Um, of course, I'll you know, give you credit for that. But again, I have to be able to read it and I have to know what problem it is. OK, so again, everything is predicated upon you making sure that you submit work that's nice, neat and in order so that I can use it to, to help you out as much as possible. OK. All right, so uh, with that being said, um, I think the last thing that I want to uh, remind you of here is uh, places where you submit your written work. And so um, any course that I have is going to have uh, this information here. So if you go to where this says submitting written work for test, you'll see that this is a place to submit written work for test one, test two, test three, so on and so forth. And um, I've already told you, and I guess at this point, um, you've probably been in the course long enough to know how I want things submitted. But just in case you don't, um, everything that is here is a reminder of that. OK, and so you just come here, click on this, um, upload your, your written work. And then, of course, uh, come down here Let me see if I can move this and submit. And you're pretty much done at that point. And from there, um, of course, whenever um, I get around to the grading the course or whatnot, I'll look at it, um, award back your points, and um, I'll also probably email you to let you know, hey, I'm done with the grading, and now you can go back and review your test and ask me any questions that you need to, okay? All right, so uh, with that being said, uh, this concludes. Uh, the video on how to use Unlock, as well as uh, some of the other things that we need to take into account um, when taking an exam in this course. I uh, hope this is helpful. Take care.